Taylor. Oh, what a goal by Peter Taylor. And what a one-man performance. He's making this for Palace. And no wonder Malcolm takes the hat off again. Palace are back in front. Taylor's second, their third. Swindlehurst ran over the ball. And Taylor coming in behind. Chipped beautifully past Bonetti. shot by Allen and the ball came up off the woodwork and Palace appealed for a goal and they surrounded the referee saying it was in and here's an incident Clive Allen hammered that and it came back off the woodwork Palace say it was over the line and the referee is going to have to consult the linesman was the ball in the net or rather was it over the goal line Jim Cannon leads the protests the referee says no goal well there's a talking point Clive Allen can't believe it the game has to go on and Palace continue to pursue the referee it's left for Gray oh what a shot what a goal Andy Gray he runs to the bench to get the applause left though for Marco Reichen how about that he scores a quick second and he has quickly become a big hero with the Crystal Palace fans I think you'll find that the wall splits here because that's far too easy I think it's Dyer on the end of the wall who jumps out right sizes it up there you go where are we going it's a great finish but what's he doing there on the end is he marking someone down the side or has he got to close that wall off on the end there Darren Ambrose. Oh, it's a screamer! Oh, they don't stop those! Wonderful, wonderful free kick from Darren Ambrose. And Crystal Palace are just over 20 minutes away from one of the FA Cup shocks of the season. I just wonder if Brad Friedel you know, took a little bit easy and only turned two men on the wall. Yes, he's got a little bit of distance, but you know he can't hit them from that distance. He's just proven it. But what a strike from Darren Ambrose! You know that the keeper of the stature of Friedel to beat him from that distance. Free kick from Andre Moritz. Brilliant strike. Finds the top corner beyond Carly Kemi. And Andre Moritz puts Crystal Palace in front. Moritz over the free kick, he's done it again. Would you believe it? An almost carbon copy of the free kick in the first half from Andre Moritz. And Akemi is beaten once more. And strong, square jawed, and determined. It's Mile Yedinak to strike it! 
What a fabulous free kick! And the man from down under has just turned Liverpool's world upside down. And Liverpool have made defensive mistakes to help Crystal Palace take the lead in this game. But that is an absolute peach for Mila Jedinak. Oh, from out to in, and he got a great curl on it. That is stunning. And punching it is. Oh, scores! Joe Hart went across, couldn't reach it. It's suddenly 2-0 Crystal Palace. And will that punch be a knockout blow for Manchester City? Fabulously executed. There's the space. We've seen some magnificent goals this weekend in the Premier League, but this is up there with them. That is exceptional. Well, he did it against Manchester United, and he goes the other way to do it against Liverpool. That is a goal of real quality from Jason Punchett. I think they've always been in the game, Crystal Palace, and this is a beauty, it really is, because I think he's fooled Mignolet into thinking that he might place it where he did last week, and he's just thought, well, I'm going to go for the other corner. Free kick, Crystal Palace. Gale goes for it, and scores! I'm pretty sure that when he hit that, he lost his footing and fell on the floor, but it didn't matter.